My name is Norman Wassel and I am a dermatologist located in central Edmonton. I've been practicing dermatology in Edmonton for 12 and a half years and uh, we have a very busy community dermatology uh, practice and we provide all types of dermatology services to the people of Edmonton and northern Alberta. So psoriasis is a chronic skin disorder of unknown cause uh, characterized by red scaly plaques that can occur on any area of the body but there are a few very typical areas such as the elbows, knees and scalp. So there's been a lot of research into the causes of psoriasis and although there are appear to be several factors at play. One of the biggest or most important factors appears to be genetic and that can be true even if neither parent had psoriasis. Um, so genetics plays a big role. There can also be other things that trigger psoriasis. Sometimes a strep throat can trigger psoriasis, uh, stress, uh, some other factors. Uh, generally speaking, psoriasis is very easy to diagnose. Uh, it can be diagnosed from a dermatologist or other doctor simply looking at the skin and examining the skin and usually there's no need for things like blood tests, x-rays or, or biopsies. Psoriasis can affect men and women equally. It's an equal opportunity affliction and uh, can occur really for, at any age. Uh, we can see young children with psoriasis, we can see senior citizens with psoriasis and anywhere in between. Uh, however, typically it tends to appear during the teenage years or the 20s and then uh, tends to recur on and off uh, throughout one's life. Sometimes I see uh, when I meet somebody with psoriasis, they've had it only for a few months. And sometimes I meet people who have had psoriasis for decades. So really it can be anywhere in between. Up until a few years ago, we often thought of psoriasis as just a skin disease. And now we know that that may not be true. We know that psoriasis has been linked with a number of other conditions, uh, some of which can be quite significant. Uh, things like high blood pressure, uh, heart disease, uh, depression, smoking, um, cardiovascular risk, uh, art, de definitely arthritis. I should have mentioned arthritis first. It can be associated with um, an inflammatory type of arthritis. Uh, so psoriasis can be a window into the inside. It may be the tip of the iceberg. And we know that patients who have psoriasis over large areas of the body also have a lot of inflammation going on inside the body and uh, that can lead to problems with uh, various organs and, and can put patients at increased risk for heart attack, stroke or even premature death. We do have excellent treatments for psoriasis and we have much better treatments than we had even five or ten years ago and the currently available treatments for psoriasis are very powerful and can take the psoriasis away so that there's nothing visible at all. Uh, however, all of the treatments that we have available now um, need to we need to keep using them in order to keep the psoriasis away. In other words, we don't have a permanent cure, but the treatments do an excellent job at making the skin look and feel normal again. There are various treatment options for psoriasis, and really it depends on how large are the areas and which areas of the body are involved. So for smaller uh, areas of involvement, things like creams, ointments, lotions, and gels, uh, those, are, those types of things can be effective if they're strong enough. Um, so that can be used for small areas of involvement, the external treatments. Uh, when psoriasis involves larger areas, uh, often we are using things like phototherapy or ultraviolet light, and I have a booth right behind me, this is an example of one. Uh, there's also oral medications or pills that can be used to treat psoriasis. Uh, there's two or three different varieties there. Uh, and as well, over the past number of years, there have been a number of biologic treatments introduced to Canada. Uh, these are medications taken uh, either by injection or by intravenous and uh, these are the newest treatment method for psoriasis and can be quite effective where other treatments have failed.